show's creator. Dan Schneider used Twitter to address some of the show's rumors. He what are you doing? That he would love to more than 60 victorious episodes, and that he knows some of the fans are upset and angry. Then he said that the fans shouldn't be upset with Victoria, Leon, Liz, Ariana, mm -hmm. What are you doing? Eating a cookie for breakfast. Is that healthy? <laughs> yes. Guys, when you run out of milk, this here is what you use. You have to improvise for your coffee. So, this is what I'm having. And it's actually really, really good because I've done this before. Well, this will melt. I probably need to add more, but it's really good. See? Coffee's getting lighter and lighter, and this is really good. Okay, I think I just need a little bit more. Oi. Scrambled eggs with ham for the kids for breakfast because cookies are not a good idea. So sometimes I would put some cheese on here, but Sophie doesn't like cheese. So today we're not going to have any. Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to our channel. It is Saturday and we are just hanging out at home today. Um, just made breakfast for the kids, got myself up and ready. Need to get them like motivated to get in the showers and just start their day. But anyway, I didn't do much vlogging yesterday, but I'm still posting a video today, which would be yesterday actually you're seeing it the day after and I didn't vlog a lot of the day but I want to tell you guys something my dog is freaking nuts yesterday he escaped somehow from the backyard and he went down to our friend's house who has a dog that's Bam Bam's girlfriend and behind their house there's like a steep cliff so when we realized that he escaped, I told the kids to go look for him while I was getting my shoes on and trying to find the leash. And while I was getting ready, my friend um, called me and said, Bam Bam fell off of a cliff. So yeah, he's freaking nuts. So anyway, long story short, behind their house, because Bam Bam's girlfriend lives there, behind their house there's a steep cliff. and. Sometimes if he escapes, he will go down there and look for his little girlfriend. And apparently he went down there and while my kids were looking for him, they were chasing him and he was trying to run and uh, he fell off of the cliff basically. So his leg is already hurt, but he got hurt even more. I don't know like how bad his leg was hurt. It's not like broken or anything, but he did get like all cut up. He was able to climb up the side of the cliff himself and we were able to walk him home, but he had a cut on his ear, on his leg, um, one in his mouth. Uh, where else? I think his tail was cut too, but they were like, not like deep gashes, just like scrapes but you could tell he was really like sore because he literally came in the house and ate and was like laying down the entire night so but today he's back to being a psycho dog running all over the yard so anyway yes that's our exciting story about yesterday and our crazy dog falling off a cliff hey mister can you go do that now I am suffering. I'm also suffering. Please, suffering is, please go get dressed and take a shower. Suffering is better than Or take a shower and get dressed. Suffering please. is better than anything. You escaped yesterday and you got all hurt. Can you even see? There's one of the little cuts 
right there. And he did get, I don't know if you can even see it. He's too busy eating sticks. Who's a naughty boy? Mimi, hi. Who is that? Who is that? Is that your friend? Is that your friend? Oh God, stop eating those. Don't eat those. See, I think he is insane, this dog. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. Anyway, you wanna come in? Come on. Come in. Come with mama. On another note, look you guys. This is my busted phone. It's been broken for probably about a year now. So, well, not a year, but you get the idea. Anyway, I filed my insurance claim. And this is the phone that they sent me. And wait a minute. Look. The touch screen does not work. Fantastic. So, I don't know, has this ever happened to you guys where you file an insurance claim and you get a broken phone in the mail? Like, how frustrating. So, that phone, as you can see, the touch screen does not work and it kept flashing like a bar across the top of the screen. I couldn't do anything with it. I couldn't set it up yesterday. What is that noise? It sounds like somebody's outside crying. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's the kids outside. Um, but anyway, so yeah, like how annoying is that? And I, I was going to go to the Apple store and just pay um, pay Apple to fix it. But it's pretty much the same price. And I was told that if you file an insurance claim with Assurion, I think that's the name of the company, because I pay for the insurance every month, that it would be like a brand new phone. Well, just like the same model that you have. And... It's not, it's a refurbished phone. And so basically they're fixing somebody else's broken phone and sending it to you. And you would think that they would test it out before sending it out, but apparently not because it's not like the dang thing was working out of the box and then stopped. Like it straight away did not work out of the box. It turned on and then it was pretty much frozen. Like it let me set up a password and then I plugged it in to, or like connected it to iTunes so that I could restore everything that was on the prior phone to this new phone. And it just froze at that point. The touch screen didn't work. Um, and then this like bar flashed across the screen for a good like 30 minutes. And it was weird because when I would put the password in, like I was typing it, like hitting the little keys and the little circles were not lighting up. So I knew it wasn't doing anything. And then 30 minutes later, all of a sudden the phone was on the nightstand and like lit up and you could see it like typing the keys that I had tried to type before. And then it said iPhone disabled and it started flashing all like this crazy bar across the screen and that thing flashed for a few hours, like just would not stop. Then this morning, I touched it, like touched the home button and it seemed like it might be working and within two minutes, it started flashing again and the screen, like the touch screen wouldn't work. So yeah, I had to call the insurance company. They said they're gonna send another phone now, but I'll probably get it by midweek next week. Do you guys ever, did anybody ever have that problem like with insurance and phones? Oh, well, look, Heather. Heather began making our pizza at 4.04 p.m. 
Thank you, Domino's. so hungry and I got Domino's so hungry I usually eat pretty healthy but who cares it's Saturday guys we are going to say good night it's actually only like what time is it Tonya it's um, almost six o'clock but it's weird what's my it display feels like, name huh display name I don't know remember we tried this already it's not working it's working just it didn't download all the way hmm. display name anyway we're gonna say good night say good night Tonya good night because it's almost six o'clock it feels later but it's dark um and email. i have a few things to do and i have a really, email uh, i'll give it to you in a minute i i don't think you have to put it in because we signed in with facebook you you do you guys look on, this, no don't look guys <laughs> just look you can't okay look we are downloading fortnite if you guys don't know, go on Dan TDM on YouTube and you will see Fortnite when he turns into a bush. Yeah, it's funny. You can turn into a bush? If you can craft it, they call it 5,000 million million, 1K, and G, that means brand. What? Thousand dollars. <laughs> anyway, um, so we're going to say goodnight here. Email. Because Tonyo is going email. crazy. You no, email. you're not going to put an email in, you silly. You just hit this. Look. Sign in with Facebook. And what? use Mom's Facebook. It's right there. I'm Epic installer. I'm so dumb. No, you're not. And see, look, you're already up there. But will it let me oh my God. play the game? I don't know. I guess you'll have to find out, Smarty Pants. You're Smarty Pants. <sighs> Okay, so for the third time, we say good night. Good night. Sing them a lullaby. Remember Grandma the... got ran over by a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for you, Abuela. I'm sorry. The, she's your grandma, yeah. Grandma Sing got it. ran over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. <laughs> she trying to get and, no, and some was, Zachbees. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandma, <laughs> we will leave. You can say, as for me and Abuela. As for me and Abuela. She went to heaven, but she crossed the road. She couldn't make it to Mickey, Mickey D's. Wanted to get, get some dolls, and she was tired. So she went to Zachbees. Laurel Jangles. Mm -hmm. Grandma got run over by the founder. Oh. Grandma went to Kroger and <laughs> Sorry, Willa. You are too dirty in public. <laughs> Let's get some tacky, tacky tea. Good night.